welcome back to my channel, Diva Chick Life. And if you're into beauty, lifestyle, a little bit of luxury, please consider subscribing and becoming part of Diva Land where we have fun over here. In today's video, I'm going to talk about my five least used fragrances in my collection. Um, These are fragrances that I don't really reach for. I may have used one once or twice. And I'm just going to go over them with you all and smell them again to see what I really think about them. So, we're just going to jump into them. Um, I have five. Um, I have five and I have the notes written down as well. And I'm going to smell them with you all again today. And just see what my thoughts on if I want to keep them, if I want to sell them. I don't know. But let's get into it. So, first I have the Chanel Chance E Tendray. Um, I've had this fragrance for a while. Um, I can't remember when I got this, but it obviously has changed colors over the years. Um, it smells good still because I sprayed it the other day, but I'm just, it's just not speaking to me. <laughs> but it's, you see how much I have in here. I have a lot and I've had this, I know, over two or three years, probably four or five and the notes of this is jasmine absolute and rose essence so i usually like florals but i don't know it's just not mm, i don't know but i'm gonna spray it and see i mean it smells good but i just don't think it's for me like i don't know maybe it's just a little bit too floral because it is um in the floor family maybe it's just a little bit too floral than what i want mm, no but it, it when it settles it does smell good but i don't know the, the verdict is still out i may sell this one mm, it's a good amount in here uh this is a five fluid ounce so i've had this for a while so we'll see but for right now i think i'm gonna mm, get rid of it or sell it Next is one of my Amazon finds. This is Casablanca Swiss Arabian. And I know I heard people say once the juice get darker, the better it is. I have gotten darker since I've gotten it, but I just got this probably earlier this year. Probably either end of last year or earlier this year. So this has um, notes of grapes, apple, patchouli, amber. So let's spray this and see i think i've only worn this like once maybe see it's pretty much to the top mm, it's okay i feel like once it settles it'll really smell good but i just don't know if this is for me like, I'm trying to be honest about my fragrances and not just get stuff and collect it and not use it. Like, I want to use my fragrances and rebuy more fragrances. So, yeah, it's okay, but it, I don't know. I, don't, I think I'm going to toss it. When I say toss it, I mean give, gift it or sell it. So, I'm probably going to end up selling this, but I keep y'all updated. Whenever I do another fragrance type video like this, I'll let you all know. Next, I have MCM Ultra um, EDP. Now, I recently got this one probably a few months ago. I think I sprayed it once. And it's not a bad fragrance. I just don't grab it. So, it has notes of fresh pink pepper, tuberose, and cedarwood. So, let's spray this one. Mm. It smells good. And to honestly, it smells like one of my good girl fragrances. Maybe the original. Maybe that's why I don't really grab to gravitate to this one because it smells like one of my fragrances I've had before. But it's a nice fragrance. I mean, I love the bag. I love the book bag. So mm, we'll see. Like I said. Um, if we want to keep this one or not, it's, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this or I'll sell it. Mm, I'm still got to think about it. So 
we'll see on about that one next is montal sensual instinct y'all i want this fragrance for so long and probably only sprayed it two or three times maybe not even that many but i know at least twice um i i don't know it, i like it but i just don't grab it i don't reach for it so it has notes of bergamot saffron amber wood and vanilla so let's see it's definitely intense maybe that's why i don't really like this it's really deep woodsy i mean i'm not saying i don't like it it's just something i don't gravitate to it's woodsy it's deep i can smell a little bit of the coffee in it it's definitely it's definitely giving fall fragrance mm. I don't know y'all this is expensive but i got it on sale so to just have it on my shelf and not use it mm -mm. so this one may be tossed which is sold uh try to sell it we'll see because i've wanted this for so long though i hope i don't regret it we'll see and last but not least is a fragrance that i fell in love with with when i first started getting into fragrances back in 20 oh no no 2007 2006 2007 time frame and it was the original i say original um miss dior um edp and the one i have now it is um miss dior edp but i think it's like the 2015 16 version version or something like that so when i know it smelled a little different from the 2007 version it could just be me because i love that miss dior back then oh my god it smells so good and um this has notes of floral bouquet rose and tender wood so of course it's floral but let's see what i think i mean i had this for a while y'all and look it's still really full but my juice is dark so let's see mm, it's sweet it's floral mm, i don't know i'm still on the fence if i should keep this one or not it smells good though it smells good, but I just don't know if it's for me. I mean, mm, mm. we'll see. So, I don't know. Mm. I hate to depart with them because I don't want to regret it later. But I guess I can always rebuy it. But maybe I need to start a perfume tray. I know Platinum D does one where I just put fragrances that I haven't worn in a long time or that I'm like on the fence with and just wear it for the day. And then let it like sit on my skin and then see how I like it. Because these, like I said, all of these I've worn before and all of them I liked at one point kind of. But then it's like, really, I'm like, mm, I don't know. It's okay. I want my fragrance to be what I'm in love with. Like y'all know I love me some. I'm looking up at my perfume of oh, red. I love me some Burberry Goddess. I love me some My Louis Vuitton, A Trap Grief. I love, um, I love, um, ooh, I love my Libres, all of them. I love my Baccarat. You know, I just have my ones that I love and I always reach for them. Coco Mademoiselle. Like, I'm always reaching for those. And I want to love my fragrances. So, these are real on the fence about them. Um, we're going to see what we're going to do with them. But, you know, I just want to share my least favorite fragrances. Maybe you all love these fragrances. Just let me know. Let me know what you do not really um, like. Fragrances you don't like um that you don't really grab for this in your collection but that's it for this video thanks for joining me today and until next time i see y'all later bye